Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to bring an image in Xactimate X1 uh, and draw a roof. We're going to do this using uh, Google Maps. So, um, first of all, you would open up a claim. I, I've made one, a dummy one here for y'all. So, for those of y'all that are new to the Xactimate, this is probably what it's going to look like, or it might go to this box, uh, this window. So, let's say that you want to go to your sketch, because that's where you're going to do your, your uh, sketching. Either you can go to Estimate, and then click on Sketch. What I do is I just hit Control K, it takes me right to Sketch. Now, this is our drawing canvas, right? Which is small. I want it bigger. If I want to do that, all I have to do is hit Shift Enter, and this window will actually is going to open up all of this. So look, Shift Enter. Now all of this is a canvas. If you want additional canvas, if you click on this arrow with two, uh, it looks like an arrow with an equal sign. If you click on that, then you get more canvas. So. How do you get it back? Well, what you do is you hit Shift Enter, will give you all this tools back. And if you click on this arrow again, it'll give you this part. But I, I uh, for this, for right now, we're gonna do more canvas. Okay, so to bring in an image, first you're gonna have to go to Option. We're gonna stop here because right now, I can't import that image till I show you how to save that image. So first we're going to go to Google Maps. If you don't know how to do that, all you have to do on a search engine, just type G-O-O-G-L-E and it usually will automatically type M-A-P-S, but if not, just type M-A-P-S and just hit uh, .com, hit enter and it'll take you there okay so now we're gonna put an address right here in the search we're gonna hit 1513 Lone Star Court it already selected it for me and I'm gonna turn this part off so it'll give me more canvas I, I always like more canvas so I'm gonna collapse the side panel I'm gonna left click move this to the uh, center with my mouse, I'm going to use a mouse wheel and go forward until I get this. Uh, all I'm doing is moving my wheel up and up and it stopped enlarging, so I'm going to stop there. If you continue going, it's going to turn it into 3D. For right now, you see right here where it says layer in this area? We're going to click on it till you see satellite. If you click on that, now you're going to get a satellite view of the image that you're going to import. Now, let me show you something. <clears throat> you're going to have to um, take a part of this. You could actually do the whole image and it really would make a difference. But uh, let's say you only want to bring a portion of this. There's a tool that everybody has in their uh, computer. It's called snipping tool so you can just click on uh, this hourglass the search engine if you click on it just type SNAP and this will come up right or you can go in and just hit shift window key S and you'll see everything get lit light and then you'll have to click and drag the area that you want. Now, so if you've never done this, what what, what you really got to worry about is, um, give me a second here. Let me uh, open up this one document I created for y'all. Whenever you're using the snippet tool, wherever you put your mouse on the left hand side or the right hand side wherever you're gonna click and drag you gotta make sure you cover everything that you're gonna want in in this uh, for this 
exercise, we're going to draw the roof and I'll show you how to draw a uh, fence. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. So now uh, let's go in and do that. Okay, let me close this. Okay, so remember, you can go to snippet or you can hit shift window S and this is the area that I want. Once I release it, you're going to get this little dialog box. You have to click on it. You got a few seconds. If it goes away, then you're not going to be able to click on it. You're going to have to do it start all, start all over. I'm going to click on this save button here. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop. I'm called 1513 Lone Star Court. So I'm going to save it and I'll close this. Now, one thing you have to do before you bring this into Xactimate is you're going to have to get two points and enlarge them um, to measure them. Excuse me, you have to measure them, right? So I'm just going to pick this point here and this point here. So if I right click right in this corner, then this pop up menu will show up with my left uh, mouse I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna left click right here and you see this thing right here that's the measurement from here to here so we're gonna put 39.34 on a piece of paper that way we know what to bring it in so if we go to Xactimate you can go to your tools Excuse me, go to options, you're going to go to import, you're going to import underlay image. Wherever you select it, you're going to navigate to it. You can double click or, or click and open. I always just double click and it this uh, box comes up. So remember, we right clicked here and left click here. Well, here, what you want to do is uh, left click till you see that little uh, plus sign and then we move it to the area that you want to go and uh, left click again this little set scale comes up enter the uh, the number the 39.34 you hit OK and you hit OK now we're ready to start drawing um, and for y'all that are new, sorry, I apologize uh, for going straight into it. But I have a bunch of videos that tell you how to uh, how to uh, <clears throat> draw and, and all the tools. But so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna make it easy for those of y'all that doesn't know how to uh, doesn't know exactly made too good. So. I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to go to tools. You see right here where it says rotate. We're going to click on this uh, arrow. We're going to uh, click on ortho rotate. I'm going to click. You see this line here? I want to get this line. You see it's at, a, at an angle. I want it to go straight to the right. So if I left click here then and I'm now I let go of my left left mouse now with my mouse I can see this box and you see how I want to line this area with that blue line so watch once I see that it's straight I just left click once and it straightens it up for you now there's ways to check and to see if it's straight um, for I, I hit I always use the button S to get my snap line for those of y'all that don't know your commands you click here and it gives you your snap line then you see this little line I'm just moving my mouse around around without touching anything I'll go where I want to land that uh, that snipping line, 
snap line. So I just click once and release it. Now I have a snap line that's here and here. Something that you can do with your image is if I if you select it, you see, and this is how you can tell if it's selected. You're all, you're only going to have one little red diamond, only in one area. So if I click on it, you see that red diamond. You know you have the image selected. If you right click and inverse image color, then it changes. It inverses the color. So whatever is the opposite. So if it was white, white would be black. If black would be white. So you know is the opposite color. And at this point, it's real easy to uh, to draw. So from here uh, you study your image and what I would do is I would create another snap line so I'm gonna hit S and I believe that uh, we're probably looking at uh, I think that's where my uh, <clears throat> original the main roof is so now we're gonna hit F for roof okay so I hit F I'm gonna hit space space until it gives me the same kind of image I uh, the roof which is a gable I'm um, excuse uh, hip roof now here what you want to do is go ahead and put the um, the pitch of the roof right now and I know this is a five pitch roof because this is used to be my house so I'm gonna double click or I can click and hit uh, control enter or I can right click and go to properties it's all the same thing I just uh, I, did, I thought I'd show you this right here on my uh, slope I'm gonna change everything to a five and hit enter. Now all I gotta do is draw the roof. So I'm gonna to snap to the bottom left hand corner. I'm gonna grab this handles, move it up till it snaps to the first line. I'm gonna grab this this one here and snap it to the left one. Now this is how you're view is probably going to look right now so one thing you can do to see if you're doing everything right if you hit your shift O for outline then you get an outline of the um, of the um, instead of having this view here you're going to get an outline view okay so now I'm going to hit my B for break tool I'm going to click here I'm gonna hold my control key. I'm gonna get this and move it over to right there. So all I'm doing is click on those anchor points, those, those white squares. Now I'm gonna hit my B for break. I'm gonna click here because this is the image that I uh, that I want to extend. I want to hold my oh I, I hit V instead of B. So let me hit B click here I get my handles hit my control key I'm gonna left click and drag to make that uh, that hip okay now I'm gonna right in here I want to hit B for break I'm gonna hit my control key I'm gonna click on this anchor point move it to the left and it creates this part. I'm gonna hit break again, and I'm gonna click right here, hold my control key, left click while I'm holding my control key to get this last uh, gable. Now right now it's a hip, so I can double click and change that into a gable. If I hit G, it's not gonna give me gable, but if I hit GG, it will give me a gable. But so I'm going to hit G so you can see what happens if I hit G for Gable. Gives me gam Gambrel. I don't want that, so I'm going to hit G one more time. There's my Gable. I'm going to hit Enter. Now, that's your roof. Okay, so 
uh, so you know you can invert your image again so I'm going to click on the right click uh, invert image and now you have your original image right so I'm going to show you a different way to do this it's, oh here let, let, let me go ahead and draw this fence for you so if you hit control F for fence you can uh, all you have to do is just click hold your uh, mouse down and drag okay and now you, you, you click and then now all you have to do is click click and th this one's a little round so it, it's kind of weird but and then just click and drag okay oops escape okay now so I'm, I'm going to you have an option for right now you can delete the image so if you select it and hit delete it's gonna give you this dialog box it says delete this object cannot undo you want to continue I'm gonna hit no because what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it this time I'm gonna hit shift U now the image is still there it just um, um, hit it right so if you want to get it back you hit shift U and you get your image back we really don't need it there um, but uh, now usually your fences are not going to look like this because uh, th this one was just a weird fence normally they're just going to be a square and I, and I just threw that together just to show you the commands uh, so I'm going to delete this say yes I'm going to hit shift U no, I mean, uh, shift O to get this uh, view I'm going to hit 3 so you can see what we drew okay okay now the last thing I'm going to show you <clears throat> well here, here, here's, here's one thing too so we hit 3D you look at it and you see you double check everything one way to double check in your work is by going to Google Earth and I went ahead and opened up Google Earth this is the image here if I hold my control key in Google Earth so this is the image right I can rotate it and go all the way around that house and this is a real good way to see if you're actually drawing everything uh, I've caught myself missing things so I thought I'd show you that part and this is Google Earth I, all I did was add the address here now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to sketch this without rotating the image we're gonna rotate the uh, the sketch the sketch part okay so again we're gonna go to um, options we're gonna go to import we're gonna import underlay image I'm gonna double click on the image I'm gonna enlarge it I'm gonna left click here left click here and it was 39.4 hit OK and then hit OK uh, to move this particular image you see I have this uh, fence here I don't want it, uh, this hurting that so I'm gonna click on the image you see this little diamond red diamond here if you left click you can move the image now if you click here I don't care what you do you're not gonna move that image the only way you're gonna move that image is by clicking that left diamond and you only get one of them you don't get three diamonds on this side now uh, we're gonna go ahead and draw this without rotating the image uh, and the reason I don't like doing it this way is because you know my snap line which is S uh, I can't rotate that S uh, that Im uh, the snap line so that I could have a snap line going this way so we're gonna go ahead and do it without that first I'm gonna draw the main roof 
by going to F for roof. I'm going to hit space, space, click. I'm going to hit control enter to get my um, properties. I'm going to change my slope to a five, hit enter. Now I'm going to enlarge that area a little bit. Now while I'm moving this thing, I'm going to hit alt, tab, tab. Now you could, you could hit tab, tab, it goes the opposite way, but shift, tab, tab will go that direction. Now, you see, it's again, it's hard to see the image, so I'm going to click on the image, I'm going to right click, I'm going to invert the image. Now it makes it easier for me, right? So now all we have to do is draw it. This time I'm going to draw it faster since you've already seen me do this. Um, because I, I try not to uh, take too much of y'all's time. Okay. So I think the image goes all the way to here. Let me see, yeah, about right there. And this other one goes to about right there. Now, so I can see the background, I'm gonna hit Shift O. See, I went a little bit too far. I'm going to hit B for break, click here to break it. I'm going to uh, option, click and drag to get that part. And I didn't go far enough, so I released the option key and put it where I want. Okay, now I'm going to hit my B for break. I'm going to uh, control, left click on the anchor point, release. Do the same thing, break, break where I want to break, hit my control key, left click to go down, and then one last one, hit B for break, and now I got a gable here, I'm going to hold my control key to create the gable, I'm going to release it, double click, right now it's a, uh, it's a hip, I'm going to click on hip and put GG for gable, and hit enter, and there you go uh, and you can right click and invert your image and then you could go in here and draw your uh, your fence so uh, at, for this one I'm gonna hit control F and let's pretend that it was like I said you I could put a bunch of little points and make it look real real nice and uh, uh, so let's say I'm gonna escape Let's say I didn't like where that one was. I can delete that last part and then move this down. Okay. Uh, here, let me select. Okay. If I hit Control F again, now I can start drawing. Look, so if I don't hit my Shift key, it's going to constrain to 22.2 degrees every time I click and drag. But if I hold my Shift key, then now I can go in here and uh, it's still snapping. So it, let me let me show you why it's snapping. So let, let me delete this. So if y'all have a problem with your images snapping, if you go to your tools, go to your um, or excuse me options, go to your preferences, double I double clicked. I'm gonna, oh, it shouldn't be snapping. Well, um, you know what, so let's hit uh, Control F, and we're just gonna kinda, for some reason it's snapping on me, but it shouldn't be. I'm not even trying to uh, get it perfect, cause Hit escape. There you go. Delete it. Um, Shift O. Now you should have two images that almost look identical. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you on the next video.